Hi, I'm Elaine Harding. Welcome to my blog. Stampwithelaine.com. Before I give you a sneak peek, I just wanted to remind you that the bonus day coupon redemption period finishes tomorrow, uh, on 31st of August. If you haven't redeemed it yet, it's your last chance today and tomorrow, when it ends at 10:50 p.m. UK time. The new 2019 autumn winter catalogue is currently winging its way to my customers in time for its launch day on the 4th of September. So today's sneak peek is this Harvest Hellos bundle. I can't show you what's inside the catalogue. We've been asking for more punches for ages and Stamping Up have listened and there are 10 new ones to choose from which includes ones that are sold as a pair or as a four punch pack. So today we're going to be using the Apple Builder Punch and I'm going to show you how I made this pop-up apple which folds flat for posting. The card base is half an A4 sheet. This is whisper white thick and in Europe this measures eight and a quarter inches by five and seven eighths that's 21 centimeters by 14.85 centimeters and then folded in half i'm using the wrapped in plaid uh, designer series paper these come in a six by six format and on one side it's just with Christmassy themes or stripes and on the other side it's all this tartan uh, with gold or copper flecks through it. This piece measures two inches by three and three quarter inches. In metric that will be five centimeters by 9.5 centimeters. I have a cherry cobbler layer and that measures four and a quarter inches by three and a quarter inches. That's 10.8 centimeters by 8.2 centimeters. And a whisper white piece, which is four inches by three inches. That's 10.2 by 7.6 to go on top. I cut two inch strips of whisper white by the width of an A4 sheet. Um, so that when you're punching out the apple, I don't have to punch out the leaf and the stem and then it just fits into the punch. You need to punch out five and then out of this strip you've got some left over um, to do your sentiment. Tuxedo Black Memento ink and Cherry Cobbler ink. Stamping blends in combo packs the Cherry Cobbler and Old Olive the soft suede dark and the black basic black dark. You also need a sponge dauber, the Scripty 3D embossing folder and if you have one the new 3D embossing plate. I highly recommend this because this gives the best results. I've tried shims and everything with the new type of embossing folder and really this blue plate is indispensable because it works best with this. Silicon mat, your stamparatus and some whisper white scrap. I need the stamparatus in order to do some reverse stamping. I've created a template by just punching out an apple with the apple builder punch then I'm going to place my stamp in there and you will feel that it's in the right position. You put your stamp down and then pick it up with the acrylic plate and you're good to go. With the apples that you've punched out you need to score it down the middle so line up the dip in the apple with the dip at the bottom make sure it's straight and then just score so you do that for all five apples. So having done that, I now ink up my stamp. It's facing and I want to um, stamp onto the silicon mat. Several times to make sure there's plenty of ink on the silicon mat. 
and where I've scored I'm going to line that apple up on one half and then secure it with the magnet so it doesn't move ink up my stamp one last time bring that down and stamp and then I get an image front and back so I repeat the process for the other side ink it up several times to make sure there's plenty of ink on the silicon mat line it up on this side on the side without the ink put my magnet on there flip that down and stamp and then you have an apple front and back so you repeat this for four of the pieces but on the bottom piece the piece where you actually glue it to your cardstock you only need to do it um, on the top you don't need to do it on the bottom so ink up your stamp pop your apple into the template secure it with the magnet and stamp now you want to stamp this side so that's the reverse side so now you need to ink up the stamp again make sure you do this several times so there's plenty of ink on the silicon mat flip the card over okay put it in the template where there's no ink on the other side secure it with the magnet and stamp so now you've got the two halves on the top inked because I'm working with blends I'll need to protect my work surface because um, stamping blends the alcohol will seep through down to the bottom so I'm just going to use the cherry cobbler dark using the bullet end uh, with the soft suede dark for the pips actually you don't need the uh, cherry cobbler combo you only just need the cherry cobbler dark then flip it over and colour the reverse side I had the basic black stamping blend in case you need to touch up the edges as I've just demonstrated I didn't need to and I've pre-done some of the others so that video so that's the one that has to go on the bottom so you don't need to score that reinforce the score lines on that but you do on these and I know you've coloured it and then you're going to have to glue it together so applied adhesive on one side and glue that together glue this one to the bottom of this so you need your basic platform pop your cardstock in you can line it up with the lines on here to make sure it's straight and you want the hinged edge running to, through the big shot uh, this way up as you turn the handle then pop your blue plate on top and then run it through the big shot. Take a pair of scissors and run it along the edges <coughs> to distress it a little bit. I'm going to curl up one end a little bit like so. Adhere it to my cherry cobbler mat layer. Make sure the words are the right way up. I'm going to colour it with the dark soft suede and the old olive combo I'm using the dark to highlight the leaves and then come in with the lighter one and fill it in 
pop it into my punch and then punch it out. So I'll roughly gauge where I want my apple and then I want the stem there so I need to put a bit of glue on here. And then I'll do the leaf next to it. And then glue that down to the card. Next I'm going to adhere the designer series paper. I can't remember what it's called. Wrapped in plaid. And leaving an even border on these three sides and then I can assemble this piece and glue that and then leave a border same as the opposite side like so in my cherry cobbler ink and I'm just going to stamp sentiment I'm going to create a fish tail on this side. Curl it a bit. I want this to be flush with the apple. So if I put the this in here and then just punch a little bit off, this will follow the curve of the apple. Sponge dauber, pop that up on a dimensional, take the backing off and just curl it a little bit, then butt it up to the edge of the apple there, pick up the slice of apple. And just stamp. Now the reason I'm doing this on a spare piece of paper um, is because I'm it showing through on the other side and that means the reverse side of my cardstock will have marks on it and if I do this it won't because then I can fussy cut Take the uh, soft suede and just scribble a line there to ground the apple slice. That's the card finished. I hope you're as excited as I am about the forthcoming catalogue. Um, that I think this one is the best yet. And I say that for every catalogue that comes out, but you will be amazed. Anyway, thanks for joining me today and have a lovely weekend. Bye.